mess in the background. I'm still flaring, so I'm not exactly up to cleaning and Mike would probably kill me if I did. You can see like sort of a pile of some of my Christmas stuff over there. That's like stuff that's going to be in that what I got for Christmas video coming up soon. I'm waiting for stuff that I ordered online with gift cards to arrive. So I figured, you know, I mean, that that's good to include since it is stuff that I bought with gift cards that I got for Christmas. As you can probably tell from the title, this video is sort of a, a haul and a how-to for buying cosmetics on eBay. This is particularly good if you're in Australia because we pay more than twice as much for cosmetics here as people in the US do, for example. We pay an arm and a leg for makeup here. It's ridiculous. So, yeah, shopping on eBay is the only way that I can afford to have as much makeup as I do. <laughs> so the first thing you need to know for shopping on eBay is that it's imperative that you get a PayPal account because PayPal's buyer protection is second to none. eBay has their own buyer protection as well, but I just find PayPal's is more comprehensive and using PayPal means that the person you're buying from never sees your financial details. They never see your banking info. It's all kept by PayPal and you pay using your PayPal account. So all they see is your PayPal username. That's it. And the money gets transferred by PayPal. So it's completely airtight. It's just absolutely brilliant. So if, if ever you order something and say it says it's new, but it arrives and it's not in the packaging, like it's not sealed, the, the rules for listing something as new on eBay say that it has to be in the original packaging and sealed as it was or as it would be when it was sold in a store. So, you know, if, if that's not how it arrives, then you can open a dispute through eBay or through PayPal and get a refund. Because, I mean, if you order a lip gloss and it's not sealed, how do you know if it's been used? You know, how do you know if it's been opened and what it's been exposed to? Like, it's not safe for you to use it. You just, you don't know what's happened to that lip gloss before it arrived at your door. A lot of the time when you contact sellers and ask for a refund, a lot of people can be really, really unpleasant about it. It's like they think that they're being wronged in some way, which kind of confuses me because I've sold things on eBay before. I, if someone had a problem, I'd feel horrible. Like, I'd want to do everything I could to make it right, so I don't understand any, any other way of conducting business. The other thing that you can use, which has gotten me my biggest steal, which I'm going to show you at the end, the way that you get a lot of the biggest steals on eBay is using fatfingers.com. I love that name. <laughs> but what it does is when you go to fatfingers.com, you select your country so that it'll bring up like the eBay page for your region. So ebay.com.au for Australia or .co.uk, I think it is for the UK. Ah, excuse me. I ate mango. Yeah, so you select your country and then you put in like the name of whatever it is you're looking for. So say in my case, it might be Steeler you know, to, to look for steel lipsticks or whatever. And it'll bring up any listings with that name misspelled in them. So anyone else searching for Stila on eBay, if they're spelling it correctly, these listings aren't gonna come up. So if it's an auction, no one else is bidding on it. It's not coming up in their searches. So that's an excellent tool to use. And as I said, that's how I got my biggest makeup find ever, which I'll show you at the end. But yeah, um, on to the massive collection. I'm gonna have to do this in several separate videos because I've got so much makeup because it's so, so affordable. This first one is just lipsticks and then the next one will be lip glosses and sort of liquid lipsticks. The next one after that will be face products on their own and then eye products. First on the list, I have three Maybelline Color Drama Intense, Vil ah. Intense Velvet lip pencils. I knew I'd screw that up. I so knew it. These are fantastic because they're like a lip liner and a lipstick combined. Combined? Combined. It's not even a word. And I just ah, whacked myself in the knuckle. Ow. The colors I have are number 510 Red Essential, 150 Fuchsia Desire, and 420 In With Coral. Unfortunately, I can't show you swatches of these, which is really frustrating for me. And it's because the camera on my Samsung Galaxy S5 doesn't show the colors accurately. Everything comes up as red. I swear, it's so frustrating. Like, you know, I, I've worn a different lip color in every video I've done so far, but they all look red. Like the one I'm wearing now is it's from the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick range and the color is Jelly Donut and it's a dark pink, but it looks red. It looks properly red. Oh, it's infuriating. So everything either looks red or like redder than it is, and it's so annoying. 
but yeah I mean I, I guess you know if, if you really want to look up what these colors are like then you know there are plenty of swatch videos on on YouTube and that sort of thing ah, they're, they're pretty um, the fuchsia is actually a lot paler than it looks in this video and a lot less red these ones I got for a dollar 95 each yes. <laughs> and they were from different sellers as well so yeah like I, I don't know why they were all the same price maybe they got them from the same like distributor or something meh my win yeah come here you next on the list i have a bunch of lip crayons that are from the revlon color burst range they're from a different section of that range so the first one is number 20 lovesick and that's from the balm stain range and i really love these because they're so super moisturizing they're kind of a little bit on the sheer side but you can build them up to be quite opaque and they leave a really nice stain. I'm very much looking forward to getting more on Payday. The next one is number 125 Flirtatious, which is from the Lacquer Balm range. And these are, again, they're more on the sheer side, but they're really glossy. So these are really nice to layer over other things. The last one is number 210 Unapologetic. That's the coral one. And that's from the uh, Matte Balm range. These ones are confusingly good <laughs> because they're matte, but they're insanely moisturizing. Those things shouldn't go together in my experience, you know what I mean? But I absolutely love these. They're just fantastic. I'm gonna get more of all of these, to be honest. Like, they're just, they're too good to pass up on. Yeah, the matte balm was $3.95. The balm stain was $4. And the lacquer balm was $6. Win! <laughs> Okay, following on from that, um, I've got three lipsticks from the Rimmel London Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick Range. Colours I've got are number... Yeah, number five. I have number 16, and I have number 20, which is like a dark sort of violet plummy pink, which is, to be honest, my favourite. These ones are actually really affordable lipsticks in stores already. These ones were three dollars each. Yeah, three different sellers, and they were all the same extraordinarily inexpensive price. When? Following on from that, I've got the Maybelline Color Whisper um, lipsticks. These are really nice as well. Pretty much everything I have is going to be really moisturizing because I can't wear anything that isn't because my lips are so horrendously dry all the time. But um, yeah, the two colors I've got are number 100, A Plum Prospect, and number 95, Mad for Magenta. A Plum Prospect was $4.95 and Mad for Magenta was $5. <laughs> I should also add that these aren't opaque lipsticks. Um, Color Whisper is a pretty accurate name for them because they come up mostly sheer, but they still have a really decent amount of pigment. Next on the list is from CoverGirl, and I'm not sure the name of the range. I'll add it in where I put the, you know, the full price. The color is 327 Bombshell, and again, this range is really, really nicely moisturizing. This one was 6.95. Yes. <laughs> One of my most recent acquisitions is from the Rimmel London Moisture Renew Lipstick range. And again, really nice and moisturizing. But the other thing about all of these lipsticks is, although they're super moisturizing, they actually stay where you put them. They don't slide around, they don't like smear. They're, they're all really good quality lipsticks because if they weren't, I wouldn't keep them. So this one's number 560, As You Want Victoria. I love that name. It's so like kind of Oscar Wilde. And I love Oscar Wilde. I'm a diehard Oscar Wilde fan. If you have cool undertones in your skin, then I cannot recommend this color highly enough. It's perfect for people with cool undertones. But this one was $5 on the dot. Next one is uh, from the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick range. And it's from their Vivids collection. The number is 910 Shocking Coral. All of the Vivids range have this, you know, bright ready orange lid on them. So that's not the color of the lipstick. It's a lot less red than it looks in the video, as everything will be. <laughs> this one was just too expensive for me to buy in stores, but I really, really wanted this color, um, especially to like mix with pinks and just make a really nice warm coral, which it is excellent for, I have to say. These ones mix really nicely with other lipsticks and, and with glosses and that sort of stuff. I'm very much looking forward to getting more from this range. This one was $4 on eBay with free postage. Yes! All of these were with free postage, by the way, so when I tell you how much they cost, that's in total. A lot of cosmetics on eBay have free shipping. Yeah, I don't even think any of my lip glosses had, like, shipping costs. They were all free postage. Damn, that's even better than I thought it was. So yeah, 
win. So I have another one from the Maybelline uh, Color Sensational range as well. And this one's uh, yeah, number 705 Blushing Bud. Yeah, this was another one I, I was just dying to get, but I, I just couldn't justify spending that much money on it in, you know, in Perth. Um, and I got this for $7.95 on eBay. So much win! This one was sort of a win, but kind of disappointing as well, just because of the packaging. I really don't like the packaging. It's great for in your handbag because it won't come open, but they've got these little ridges all the way around the edges of it, these little clips. So it's really hard to open if you've got dodgy hands but it's from the Revlon Colorburst Lip Butter range and like the most disappointing thing is that the product is awesome like the actual formulation of the lipstick is fantastic it's a lip butter but it doesn't slide around or smear or end up halfway over your face but I just can't get the damn thing open <laughs> ah but it's so pretty so if you have dodgy hands I definitely wouldn't recommend getting these, it, which is a shame because, as I said, the formulation is fantastic. The last two are my biggest steals. So the second last is my second biggest, and the last one is like my grand finale item. This one is a Lime Crime lipstick. Color is Airborne Unicorn. So what I tend to do is mix this one with like pretty much any other lip color in my collection, actually. Like, you know, you can mix it with corals, pinks, purples, anything like that, and alter the colours. So you can really customise pretty much any lipstick in your collection using this one. This one was $11 on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> and then my grand finale item. Oh my god. I got a Givenchy lipstick for the same price as my Lime Crime Airborne Unicorn, $11. Oh my god. <laughs> And it's totally legit, like, it was still in the packaging, sealed, unopened, brand new. The colour is number 24, um, Rouge Red. It's the vampiest colour I own, and I love it. It's so gorgeous and so rich, and I mean, you can really see why people spend so much money on a lipstick like this, and why it's worth it when you have that much money to spend. It's got the logo on top, um, everything on the bottom's legit, I looked up the codes. Totally 100%. I just couldn't believe it, but it was all because the seller misspelled Givenchy. Gah! So no one was bidding on it. So, I mean, obviously they, they listed it at, you know, starting at $11, expecting the bidding to go higher and higher and higher, but no one could find it because they misspelled Givenchy. So anyone searching for Givenchy lipsticks, it just wasn't coming up. Gah! <laughs> I win! <laughs> biggest eBay win ever for me, and I still haven't quite come to terms with it, to be honest. Whew. But yes, that's the end of this sort of collection haul type video, and little how-to. I hope this was helpful and sort of um, inspired you to go and, you know, hunt on eBay for the lipsticks that you really want, or, you know, whatever other makeup products you really want, because if you bide your time, even if you don't see what you're looking for the first time you search, if you keep going back every few days, then you will find it. Because that happened with me with those Maybelline Color Sensational lipsticks. I really wanted both colors, and I just couldn't justify paying the full price for them. But I kept going back and searching for them, and after a few weeks, they were there at a price that I could totally afford. <laughs> so much win. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantabulous 2016 and that it's full of tons and tons of good juju and fantabulousness. Keep on being your wonderfully, chronically fabulous selves and I shall see you in my next video. Yeah.